So I just want to make three points. The first one, we've heard, uh, we know that 75% of Europe's population lives in cities, and we know this will continue to grow with demographic change, with economic migration in particular. The cohesion of Europe, so central to the concept of Europe as a union, depends on the success of our city administrations in managing social inclusion and promoting integration in that growing picture. The second point, cities account for 85% of Europe's GDP. <coughs> the recovery of the e EU economy, Europe's competitiveness in the world, these depend upon the leading edge industries and the knowledge base of our cities. It depends on our cities functioning well, efficient transport and communication systems, effective property and labor markets, strong supplies of quality, uh, labor and housing. My third point is that cities account for some 80% of CO2 emissions. So we'll not meet Europe's climate targets without proactive measures by and with city governments to manage down the urban carbon footprint, particularly from the built environment and urban transport. So three key challenges facing Europe, climate, recovery, inclusion, these will be won or lost in Europe's cities. That's why climate, recovery and inclusion are EuroCities' key priorities for 2010 and, and probably beyond. And that is why, in turn, we say this Parliament must make cities the strategic priority for Europe. It's hugely important that European parliamentarians and mayors work together in partnership to ensure that European policy properly addresses local needs, and not least to engage or re-engage our citizens in the European project. I hope this evening's occasion helps that relationship along. Please enjoy the rest of the evening. Thank you. Thank you.